I know you've got one of these. Somehow. So you know a little bit about what you're in for. Let's go! Let's take this down to the beach. Stick it in AWD if you like. There's some nice curbs up ahead. This is 2021's EV of the year. And it was up against things like the Taycan and the e-tron and the recharge. It set three Guinness World Records, and it's inspired by the beautiful original Mac 1. And I'm telling you all of this because the Mac E was built right here in Mexico at Cuautitlan Assembly. Calm down. I know you like to go fast, but I had a big breakfast. Cuautitlan Assembly has been building cars since the 60s. And more than 2.2 million cars later, we're sitting in an actual space machine made here in Mexico. Quite a journey from Cougars and Thunderbirds and F-150s to this. This isn't just a prototype. Waltitlan Assembly does a range of options for the Mac E. A 68 kilowatt hour standard and an 88 kilowatt hour extended range version. It will give you over 300 miles of range on a single charge. The Performance GT version is the really wild one. 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. This one is uh, quite a bit faster. Honestly, when I first tried it, I had to go and sit in a quiet room for a bit. And I've flown airplanes in a storm. Hey, I have to keep this back. <laughs> Be careful with it. It's wild tech. You can switch from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive at the touch of a button. And when you get into tuning, you can basically tweak every one of the seven engines individually. It can make 1,400 horsepower and a ton of downforce at 160 miles per hour thanks to the Aero 2. So what you're saying is, not bad for something that weighs more than an F-150 of yours. Yes. Hey! This isn't your Mac E. <laughs> Be careful with it. I have to give it back. And there we go. Sunrise over the sea. Beautiful. But we're not done. There's one more thing to look at. I'll let you know as soon as I have uh, found it. <laughs> 